Hey guys, Phoenix Spring Tarot. So, this is part two of my previous journal readings. This is going to be a life situation reading where we're going to look at the spiritual dynamics that are around JLo at the moment, why it's occurred, and how she can reverse it. Okay? So, I'm going to focus on quite a bit in this reading. So, it's going to be quite direct. I'm going to be very quick. There'll be, um, and for that, I'll be channeling message directly from my guides and I'll be using the tarot as well. So all messages in this reading and on my channel are alleged until proven fact. I say this every time. This is just a reminder. Timestamps are going to be down below. We'll also be taking an unbiased approach where we can. We are not looking to sensationalize or use other people's misfortune for entertainment. If that's what you're looking for, there's no judgment in that at all. But this is not the reading for you. Okay. We just want to know from a spiritual perspective what's going on. And lastly, before we get into this, use your intuition along with me as we der derive the meanings from the cards. This will help train your intuition and develop your discernment as well. So a brief recap of part one so you guys are up to speed. With regards to the current acrimony that we're seeing between JLo and Ben, with her not, um, with him not turning up to support her in her recent Netflix red carpet event, and JLo looking as if she's lost weight. She looks fantastic, by the way, but clearly that's, you know, loss of weight. I'm intuitively taking that as a sign of stress, of stress, sorry. And we picked this up in my previous part one of this reading with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords energy. We picked that up there as well. Um, if I could, in fact, with a lot of that energy, let's see. Yeah, this was definitely the tower moment that appeared in that previous reading. She also got this energy. She got the Eight of Swords. Ben got this energy. We'll come to that in a moment. Where is that Two of Swords energy that we had previously gotten for JLo? Just bear with me one moment, guys. Because I want to bring this up for you because it's going to be very important. I should have done this beforehand. My apologies. How am I not seeing this? Hmm. Oh, hang on. There we go. We also got this card for Ben before, so I'll set that to one side. Yep. These, yeah. So these were JLo's cards. That Sorry about that. That we previously got in that reading. So as you can see, JLo, JLo feeling betrayed, someone walking off and walking away, leaving her brokenhearted. The anxiety, the stress, the worry. So this was Jalo's energy from the previous reading. So again, stress and strain. And we look into the reason for that. But it goes without saying, you know, you talk about the greatest love story ever told. And within a few weeks of the story coming out, you're headed for divorce. You know, so it's really clearly embarrassment. But let's move on. Ben, as I said in my last reading, he had checked out of it. We were getting the Seven of Cups. You know, this is someone just dis disassociating, being in his own environment. Look at his face. Look at the face and the expression on him as he's surrounded by cups, right? So we got this for Ben. We got the devil energy. And we'd also gotten the tower. And the tower came up in terms of the dynamics of the relationship at the moment between JLo and Ben. So we had also picked up the nine of pentacles for him as well. And the seven of cups had showed up twice. So he's looking, and what this we got from the last reading is that he's looking at his options to sort of get out of this. So he is in his own space, looking at options as how to move on. And what I also raised in my last reading was that he had relapsed. And again, this is allegedly. Approximately three days ago, it was reported that Jennifer Garner is showing up, and the purpose of her showing up at his place was to prevent him from relapsing. But according to my last reading, um, and the reading was done before the images of Jennifer Garner turning up to his place. But according to my reading, he had already relapsed. And we kept on seeing it because we got two versions of this Seven of Cups turning up. And we also got the devil energy. Notice the bottles and everything else, right? Um, so again, everything is alleged. Now, let's, let's dig into this reading. So... The first intuitive message that I had received from my guides um, for this is that in part one, we got the tower, as we had seen before. 
So the tower was used to describe the relationship dynamics between JLo and Ben. And what came through in part one is that he had a realization that had sent him into a spiral. And since then, his PR team has come out with statements saying that he was caught up in his PR team had come up with statements saying that he was caught up in the fever of the moment, quote unquote, and now he's come to his senses, quote unquote. However, intuitively I'm being told that this is not the whole truth. Um, and this is what we're seeing from the Tower moment. Something happened. Ben had some realization about JLo. So what we're going to be asking the cards now is what realization was this that Ben had about JLo? What realization led to the tower moment and for her falling from grace in his estimation? Now, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, please protect myself. Please protect those viewing this reading. May we only access messages of the highest divine frequency, of the highest accuracy, provide nuanced understanding to this situation that we as a collective audience viewing this we could take away having more compassion, having more understanding, and being able to apply the lessons to our own lives. Thank you very much. Okay. So this had jumped out when I started shuffling earlier. There was something with this two of swords. There was something that I'm picking up. Ben had heard something about JLo before, but he ignored it. Or there was something he was warned about. But he didn't want to see it he didn't want to feel it he was very def if anyone dared raise it to him by means of warning him he would just block it out he would pretend he didn't see it he would pretend he wasn't hearing it but it's as if the suspicion was building up in him and it's as if we had the straw that broke the camel's back so to speak in terms of a realization he had and being told the phrase rumors that they were rumors they were yeah kind of rumors i would say rumors about this situation and there is this swords on the back it's as if he asked he felt he feels duped he feels hair lied to he feels stabbed in the back he feels i'm picking up they're telling me someone feeling under a lot of pressure as well feeling under a lot of pressure like they can't breathe like they don't have a way out i'm being told this is not the life i wanted this is not the attention though I wanted, the type of attention I wanted. It's relentless. And like, thank you, thank you very much. I'm tuning into Ben's energies now. It's relentless. This is not what I wanted. This is, it's too much. It's, I'm feeling almost like someone getting panicked and someone wanting to check out. Okay. Oh, guys, I don't do reversals. Like we have the, again, Wheel of Fortune, we have a lightning. When these cards turn up, it's like, lovers reverse this situation has gone south and it's gone sour really fast it was an event and something that happened hang on where is this card going yeah to have the lovers it's like flipped reverse the queen of wands talks about truth talks about in this context it talks about truth it talks about truth coming out let's put these up And we have the moon energy again. The moon energy talks about something coming out. Right, thank you. This moon cup. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Right. So this moon energy, moon energy talks about things and secrets being revealed. Ben, when he made that, this is what I had intuitively picked up on. So he released a statement saying that he was caught up in the fever of it all. He's now come to his senses and so on. As I said at the beginning in my intro, the cards are confirming that is partially true. There is information that he's come across regarding JLo that to the public has not been released yet. It is being slow to, re to be released. And we have that being clarified by twos, um, by, we have twos appearing twice. So in a couple, you have two people in a relationship. There is something about his relationship with JLo he didn't want to see. This is JLo. This is that soul tie, soul mate connection. And we have the we have the lovers appearing here again with the angel. Like this, I always say this about these guys. It is a soul mate divine connection. And in terms of the lovers' energy now, this is reverse right in terms of something he there's something he didn't want to see there is more information to be coming out about JLo 
that we as the public don't know yet, Ben's team know it, they are getting ahead of it. That Because for this card to be reversed, Moon talks about, the Moon energy talks about something hidden coming to light in the context of this reading, and it's being put next to the Two of Cups. It's being slow to be released, because people, whether it's PR people, whether it's the movers and shakers in the background, they are working to tidy this up. But the information is coming down the pike. The information is coming down the pike. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this information or this turn of, like, information talks about almost like the hand of God, basically, or the hand of fate, if you want to put it that way. Just coming in and just flipping it around. It could go either way. And it's coming up with death. So it's coming up with something that they currently have at the moment just coming to an end and we have the person walking away it was nice it was sweet i'm walking away now and what's coming up with ben's energy is that like he feels that he's been betrayed he feels that he's he's like backed into a corner it's too much and part one of my so let's no let, let me not go into that so is this about diddy let's just get into it is it about diddy is it about um something potentially private between them that we don't know about what is this about something that i feel that it's related to the diddy situation but it's something related to the diddy situation that we don't know about yet yeah it's something related to a situation J-Lo has already left. We could see it was a turbulent situation here. We're seeing with turbulent waters, and she just managed to get away from it. Anything else? I'm just going to do a quick dip into their marriage really quickly to see if there's anything there. I'm glad I did, actually. Okay, so it's not just one thing, it's a combination of things. I feel that this Diddy situation, which is a situation that J-Lo has left, the Six of Swords talks about moving on. So it's a situation she was in before, she left it. It's about some, with the Swords, when you're moving on, Swords always talks about lessons learned or experiences that you've had. These are all the Swords. And no, notice this woman's shoulder, she's sort of hunched over. So this is talking about something being revealed that someone isn't completely proud of. Or someone may have been trying to hide. Or someone felt they had the Six of Swords. We have moved on from this. But clearly not. Now, I want to come back to the King of Cups because this is um, Ben's energy. Notice again we have the Cups. Notice again we have the Turbulent Waters around. I'm just, and with the Two of Pentacles as well, we have another two. Notice rough seas, rough waters, rough waters. That is the consistent message in Ben's energy. There's a lot of water. He's a very emotional person. But they're showing me that they're showing me this, like not much room when it comes to someone. It's as if they the type of environment that he needs is an environment where an environment that's stable, an environment that keeps him happy, an environment that keeps him grounded. Now when I'm being drawn to water, water refers to in this context emotions. So it's as if he is he needs to keep control and a tap on his emotions otherwise he can spiral right and i'm seeing the spiral with the loop okay so i feel that what's coming through here particularly next to the ten of swords is that this got i'm, I'm just hearing the term pressure so we have the diddy situation and that happening and then we have the pressure almost the pressure of the king King of, Pence, King of Cups as well is always someone being on show, someone being charming, someone being charismatic as well, someone being easygoing. So what this is saying to me is that pressure of being in the spotlight and being thrust in the spotlight with all of this again. I feel like there are things that he just didn't want to do and didn't want to have and it, like I'm just getting claustrophobic and things being too much. What I want to go into now is the JLo no hang on so if I, let's stay with Diddy for a moment what was JLo's involvement in the Diddy shooting incident you know when he shot that woman in the face apparently allegedly JLo was the gun mule allegedly she brought the gun into the club and she handed the gun to Diddy I'm wondering in US law wouldn't that make someone an accomplice to attempted murder I don't know but we're just going to be looking at um 
So that's got an angel to meet into the energies of that night and J-Lo. And whether she knew. Oh. When I say whether she knew, let me clarify the question, whether she knew that um what that Diddy shot a woman and it was him because now we know that some other guy took the fall for Diddy. This woman has always maintained for years that it was Diddy who shot her. So this question is whether JLo knew and just sat on this. And what was her involvement in this? Okay. Ah Guys, you watch me shuffle. We got this card again. What did I say the first part of this reading? It is regarding this Diddy situation. I knew it. I've been, for the last few months, I've been doing a reading on this. I've always said this Diddy shooting situation was going to come back to get Jano. I've always said this. Yep. There we go. All right. So what I'm getting from this is... So we have the Magician energy here and Seven of Cups. So this is someone, Magician in this context, talks about making something appear one way when it's not that way, right? And in terms of making something appear a particular way, these are the options. So it's like pies in the sky, just choose a story and stick with it. So with the, in terms of the Magician, she was told what to say and to stick with it. Now, what we're being shown with the Ace of Cups, though, and with the and also being shown what to say and Seven of Cups. Notice we have this Four of Pentacles here. There is some exchange or some deal that was done allegedly for someone to keep strong or for someone to keep silent on something. And we have the Ace and the Pentacles. So it's a matter of you keep quiet and you hold something closely to you. You say what we tell you to say. So we're going to give you a story. We will choose a story for you. You say that. And with the Ace of Cups, we're going to make life really pretty for you. Right? The reason why J-Lo and, and with the Six of Swords again, again, and this has come through before, this JLo felt that if she played along, you know, she would be able to move on from this and put this behind. I'm being told by my guides that is what JLo was told. We have an emperor here, someone advised, someone very, very senior and very powerful. We need to look into Tommy Matola actually, because someone very, very powerful advised JLo of this or helped clear the way out of all this confusion for J-Lo to be safe. Like J-Lo was with the pentacles here, the money maker. So it's as if somebody was protecting their investment and said to J-Lo what to say, what to do for the six of swords for her to transition out of this situation. Now we have the nine here. And again, we have the queen of wands. This queen of wands is talking about the truth. But in this case, this is the truth from the woman who got shot, right? Queen of Wands is always with the black cat. The cats are always about truth. The cats are about higher knowing. This woman who has come out and who has said her story, it's as if, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but it's almost as if she has the protection. She has protection on her. It's the best way I could find to say it. She has protection on her. They're telling me the phrase courage. When someone's wearing yellow like this, yellow is the solar plexus energy. And that solar plexus energy is all about standing in your truth and knowing your truth and not being ashamed of it and not backing down on it. The truth is your protection. Now, what's interesting is, I f please, all messages are alleged. This is J-Lo's energy below here, right? And what it's showing is that J-Lo, actually, this truth will set you free. There we go. Sorry, they're asking me to complete a message because I got the message with the yellow, the solar plexus. They're guiding me to this woman being in yellow hair. It's like with the full energy, it's talking about freedom. It's packing light. This woman doesn't need, it's like she, this woman has protection over her. This woman's been protected. I'm being told here, uh, sorry, they're taking me into the woman who got shot. Sorry, they're taking me into her energy, actually. It's like, this is her protection again. Do you notice the bandage over the face? 
there's a double meaning with this. It's like she, like the hand of God, prevented, saved her life and prevented this from being worse, number one. For her to be discipled, to always stand up and be the example to us all as a collective about the importance of truth and saying your truth, even in the face of power, even in the face of intimidation. And my guides are bringing me to this here, like when we're looking at people's circumstances, not, don't just get caught up in the entertainment of it. Get caught up in the lessons of it, the life lessons that we could learn, the examples. In the midst of all the despair or when things are going wrong, there are always glimmers of light and hope and truth and things going the right way that we as a collective could latch on to and use as an example in our lives, to be that example in our lives story. All right? Now, this is a double meaning because this has come up next to J-Lo's energy. Like J-Lo, I'm sorry, messages are alleged. You think this is crazy. J-Lo knows this has been aware of this woman speaking out. It's as if with the wands above, J-Lo herself has, like J-Lo's looking up, it's like of late they are aware that something has been coming down the pike and it's as if either J-Lo may have lawyered up or she may have asked people to keep it out of the press. It's like J-Lo herself as well has protection against this. But we have Five of Swords, which talks about infighting. And this talks about intimidation as well. This has come up to explain the fool. So it's as if with the fool energy, irrespective, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but has this woman been intimidated? I don't really know her story. I know that she talked about being shot in the face and she says she's been consistent about it. But I believe, and I'm going to go on a limb here to say that she says that Diddy has intimidated her over the years. This is true. We're seeing the group of people, we're seeing the mob that has been sent against her. And she has still kept her story. And they, she's being shown as the fool here because at times her life was really put at risk by the mob with their wands trying to like suppress her into silence. As I'm saying that, they are showing me, and this is, hang on, sorry, I just noticed this card to the side. This is Diddy's energy here. But notice, you know, Diddy paying people, like Diddy was coming up, sorry guys, the card was just at the side. So his back, even though his back was towards all of this going on, he was still aware of it because he was the one who had paid for this huge pentacle, paying these people to do this. Now, what is interesting about this though, is that this is Diddy here, but we have an emperor up here. So it's as if Diddy is, has a higher authority. Both Diddy and J-Lo have someone more powerful than both of them. This is the thing that we're missing. There is someone who is even above Diddy when it comes to this. And it wasn't really, like people are saying, Diddy organized this, Diddy organized that. But I'm being drawn here that it, Diddy may have done the work of paying people off and that sort of thing. But what my guides are telling me now is that paying people off is, it's almost as if it's not enough. It's as if there is a higher level of protection. How should I phrase it? They're showing me it as an image, guys. I'm trying to translate it. Like when they say Diddy had um, police officers or Diddy was able to buy CCTV footage and Diddy was able to this and that, it's as if it was done on the authority or under the protection of someone higher than Diddy and J-Lo knew that. It's as if... Diddy and J-Lo, with this emperor energy, had the same person protecting both of them. Because I'm not seeing Diddy being the one to have orchestrated the... You know when the person who went to jail for Diddy, it was as if, yes, Diddy may have had a hand in that, but the authorization and the payoff and the court system turning a blind eye, the police turning a blind eye, it's as if Diddy couldn't do that on his own. This emperor energy is the person who was doing that. We're going to look into that emperor energy for a moment, in a moment. Let's move to another deck. Oh God, why is my deck so messed up? Do we as the public, we may not know, the emperor person is someone in the music industry, we may not know who that person is. So did J-Lo, I'm going to change that in a moment. I'm going to come back to that. Did I just have so little time that I want to fit in this reading. I want to go into other messages. Did J-Lo know about Diddy's behavior to Kim Porter and later on Cassie and his other behavior? Did, did, he, did J-Lo know about this? When J-Lo was with Diddy, Diddy was widely known to be seeing Kim Porter, right? We have the strength card. 
everyone knew that Diddy was seeing Kim Porter at the time when, and everyone was just like, how is this going on, right? So, was J-Lo, did J-Lo know about Diddy's behavior to Kim Porter and Cassie and all the other behavior he's been up to? Did J-Lo know? Oh, God. You know what? Just give me a moment, guys. To be honest with you, I'm being, uh, that card came out in version one. I'm being given the phrase, not my circus, not my monkey. I feel that she heard rumors, but with the ace of wands, I'm picking up someone who is and again, allegedly, very narrow-minded. And by narrow-minded, I mean they're focused on their career, they're focused on themselves with the Ace of Wands. It's like, throw your hands up in the air, oh well, I'm focused on me. I'm picking up, though, in terms of her relationship with Diddy, that was true, though. Like, they had a solid thing happening. Like, at the time, when I was growing up, and I saw this relationship, I thought it was for show. But it turns out that this relationship... Hang on. Sorry, guys. Sorry. 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 Behind the deck. Devil. Sorry. Uh, there are two energies coming in here. Two energies. This may have been Kim Porter's energy. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Kim Porter's energy is here. I, I, I started this and I was just like... Sorry. This is the thing. I am um, with the strength card. Sorry about this, guys. This is JLo's energy now. The question is, did JLo know about Diddy's behavior to Kim Porter at the time and later on with Cassie, his other behavior, okay? I'm picking up with someone here. It's, you know, if you are around to perceive things, you would know. With the strength card and with the ace of wands, it's like JLo is a focus hustler and focus on her grind. She ain't concerned about that. That's what I'm picking up here. She was aware, though, that Diddy had someone else on the side. She knows this. She knew this. But, and J-Lo was smitten with him, but not to the extent that these cards show. That's why I was thinking, hang on, this is someone else's energy, and this is Kim Porter's energy here. Right. But she, J-Lo was aware of Kim. But for J-Lo, J-Lo was into Diddy as well, but... I'm picking up here, it wasn't that deep. And I'm seeing that with the Queen of Swords here. I, it, yep, I'm into you, it's not that deep. I am here with the Four of Pentacles to see what I could get. It's interesting with the Four of Pentacles how that always comes up with in JLo's energy. This Four of Pentacles is like, I'm here to see what I can get. What can I get? What can I get? It's about me, it's about building myself. I'm very pragmatic about me. It's about, I know how great I am. I, like, if it's not about JLo, JLo didn't care basically, is what I'm picking up here. If it's not about J-Lo, she didn't. If it's not about her, if it's not all eyes on her, applauding her, she knew at the time, I'm going back in time, so don't confuse it with the J-Lo now. I'm going back in time. This woman was a hustler. She's on her grind. She has tunnel vision, highly ambitious, particularly with the strength card, fiercely ambitious and hardworking and the rest of it. She doesn't have time with any other nonsense quote unquote. This is from JLo's energy that I'm saying nonsense, right? I'm not saying that it's nonsense. But from her perspective, she doesn't have time for hearsay. She doesn't have time for gossip. She doesn't have time for innuendo. I'm about my grind. I'm about me and giving birth to the superstar, to the tri tri triple threat that I know that I am. If you're for me, you're for me. If you're not for me, I don't care about you, right? That is JLo's energy. That's JLo's perspective at the time. And that is what, with this Queen of Cups, she would nurture. 
And I'm also saying that she had a lot of men bamboozled as well. Now, people talk about here about Jaina because she was... Um, People are saying at the moment that if Jaina was a black like the Kasi and the Kim Porter, he would have treated Jaina the same and that sort of thing. I'm not seeing that here. I'm seeing that Jaina, because we have a man wounded, like from a spiritual perspective being wounded. Jaina had a power, and not just a power, because we have it with the strength card here. Jaina didn't just have a strength in the way she carried herself, conducted herself, being about her business. But she knew how to play the guys as well. She knew how to sedate them. She knew how to placate them. She knew how to hypnotize them almost. But not only that, again, yeah, but this, the, this King of Pentacles energy has come up against. Like she knew how to get powerful men on her side to support her and to do what it is that she wanted them to do. JLo in her lifetime, JLo could marry nine people, ten people, how many other number of people. Like JLo would always be able to get a guy. She's just that sort. She has that way. Jayla was only concerned with the Ten of Pentacles about the way things appeared. Any other detail, she wasn't here for it. So here we have Kim Porter, who, you know, to be fair, cared for. Um, did he? Hang on, let's get the rest of these cards here. Hmm. Interesting, we have the devil card in the midst of this. Notice that we have the devil card as well coming up to the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles came up with the last spread. That is Diddy's energy about control. I'm being told that Diddy did try to control JLo, but tried to control in a different way. It, it was like through being able to make things happen through like giving a song, putting a producer on something, putting a writer on something, having someone do these vocals, having someone, that is how Diddy controlled JLo. But it wasn't really control. It's as if JLo is very good at making men feel that they are controlling her, but she's really controlling them. I just said that, I don't know what I said, but I hope it resonated. They're telling me to leave it there. Okay, I don't have any, do I have any further messages? Okay, so how does JLo reverse this? So there's a lot going on with JLo and her energy at the moment. Um, before we go into how JLo can reverse the karma, any, is there any further messages of anything that we've missed? Any further messages of anything that we've missed? She is going to be on her own soon. This hermit energy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no. Okay, guys. Um, I'm not going to take too much time on this because I think I said this in my version one. If this hasn't happened already, here is that woman again, that woman who got shot. Here is the justice card. This is what they're trying to... Do you, real, do you remember this card came up with Ben? It's come up here again in this energy. And this is a woman with a lot of money on her own, with the hermit energy. This, I don't know whether JLo would be able to keep this out of the press, whether she'd be able to pay someone off or what, but this is coming down the pike. Like we're just gonna hear something regarding JLo be divulged. It could be, I'm going to keep it broad, allegedly it could be regarding this woman. This shooting of this woman is going to be revisited with Diddy. There's a lot of spotlight on Diddy right now. But there is hope that it doesn't get in, um, brought up because there are more powerful people than Diddy involved. But having said that, with the hermit energy, things could go either way. It's, it's either they cut dead weight and have Diddy and JLo and whoever else was involved in that take the fall. This could be trial by with the justice card evening out the scales. This could be either a court case being in a court case. It could be arbitration. It could be making a settlement. It could be tr trial by social media or popular opinion or public opinion. 
whatever phrase is used for that. It could be that sort of trial as well. So this is the thing before it was enough to pay people off to put an NDA on it or to put a court seal on it and nothing gets revealed. But nowadays you have social media that just and public opinion that just takes off a life of its own. And that is what people have problems controlling, right? So this justice card could be talking about both. But either way, I'm seeing this woman, this nine of pentacles, woman being on her own. Hermit is isolation. It's about solitude. But this woman that I mentioned earlier, her energy, the woman who got shot, her energy came up very prominently. She is going to get her justice. She's going to get her justice. Okay? So that is, um, yeah. And look, we have judgment. So we have justice. We have judgment that's coming through here. And woo we notice my I picked up my deck, all my other cards in my deck are reversed because I picked it up the wrong way. But it just so happened that this one card was upright. Okay? So what this is saying to me is notice all the people rising up to that call. It's time now, it's time to deliver truth. Karma is calling you. Rise up and tell the truth now. Rise up and put things out there. I told you at the beginning of 2024, it is getting real and it is going down. And many times when you're seeing people like all of a sudden Ben Affleck came to his senses, came to this, came to that, it, like people are preparing. It's like a hurricane. It's like you get a hurricane warning and you're hearing that a hurricane is coming. Like everyone is just starting. Like you may not hear the hurricane coming, but they know that a hurricane's coming. So they're doing all their preparations. They're buying their food. They're, clo um, they're buying like, what did they call it? They're nailing up their windows and all of, and they're moving state, perhaps, you know, to avoid tornadoes, to avoid hurricanes, so they're not in the midst of it. This is what's coming, justice, judgment. I, I don't know why with J-Lo, when she heard this going down about Diddy, she then releases this $20 million film. Like, you know, And but they're explaining that to me here with the Knight of Wands. A knight talks about someone who's hot-headed, who are just passionate, who don't think things through. They just go, they just do things. And that's ego driven, right? You're driven by your ego. You just want to do, 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 do. You know, it's about what it is that you want with the Nine of Pentacles, getting what you want. These are the accolades that she expected from putting out all these projects. That's what she was looking at. It's the accolades, it's the validation, it's the being put up on a pedestal. That's what she thought that she was going to get. But it was too hasty. She moved in haste. Okay. So, as I said, I'm just breezing this through. So how can J-Lo reverse this karma? So I'm going to do an intuitive channel from my guides for this one, unless they want me to do this via. Oh, reversing karma. Interesting. We have the world. This, so this is the section of the reading, how can J-Lo reverse our karma? Oh, God. Whew. Ace of Cups reverse. We have the world. We have the hangman. Oh my God, did he's here again? And we have judgment. Okay. So the final intuitive message about my guides. The message is, we have the Ace of Cups reverse. We have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about, like at the moment, JLo is mute. She's not saying anything. She's just going around business as usual for the world to see, as we saw with the Netflix premiere and that sort of thing. That's the time I'm doing this reading. And the idea is with the hangman energy, I'm just going to stay low and I'm just going to see whether I could wait this out with the hangman, right? Don't do anything harsh, just wait it out. Like with Ace of Cups, Ace talks about love and new love and that sort of thing. It's reversed right now. I'm not having love right now. So I'm just going to keep quiet and wait it out, right? However, what my guides are saying is that if Jayla wants to reverse all of this, she can with the world card. Yes. It's about being genuine. It's about being truthful. You know, like when we say this is me now, it's like this, what JLo is going through now, this is the story we need to hear from JLo now, right? That's the story we need to hear from JLo now. It's about being genuine, being truthful. Talk about the industry you grew up in at the time. Talk about what it was like for a woman in the industry at the time, at the, at the time you were coming up. And while you're doing that, take accountability for your actions, for your part, for how you turned up. Take accountability for the blind eye that you turned. And this doesn't mean that she owes the public hair an explanation. It doesn't mean that. 
but it's about the people you grew up with at the time, those women, you know, those black and brown women who sang on your songs, or those producers who you knew were intimidated and went through it. It's about making people, and I'm not saying just black and brown women, I'm sure there were other women as well, of all other cultures and backgrounds and so on. It's about making people feel seen, acknowledging them. You could acknowledge them either through your words, through opportunities, opening doors for them, putting a word for them if they need that, financial remuneration. It's whatever way is appropriate to that person, to that situation, to that circumstance. And again, with the Four of Swords, Hidden, and the World, you don't need to make this public. You know, you could do it behind the scenes, but it's the act, it's the action of doing this. If JLo did it, that action of going through the motions to do it would trigger an inner dialogue that would promote really deep inner healing. And when we're talking about deep inner healing, I'm picking up that there is a fear in her of not being good enough, of always needing to prove herself, you know, hence the busy work. But what I'm picking up on is that she's busy and churning stuff out and churning stuff out. We have the judgment for her twice. Is that fair for her of being judged? Fair for her of being exposed? That's what she's feeling at the moment. But what the spirit guides us saying, what's wrong with my deck? Oh my God, my deck is all over the place. Oh, I can't use this deck. Anyway, but what the guides are saying is that, oh God, I got distracted by my deck. Let me tune back in. Yeah, not good enough, always needing to prove herself, hence the busy work diluting. It's not the volume. It's as if by just producing stuff and just churning stuff out as she's been doing the last couple of years, it's as if that is distracting her from taking the time to be grounded within herself and to be still with herself. Right? It's showing people what you think. It's as if she's showing people what she thinks they want to see of her instead of being vulnerable enough to show herself as she is. You know, it takes courage, it takes bravery to show what is, to be vulnerable. And vulnerable is being more than just turning up on a documentary about yourself with your hair looking crazy or with no makeup. Like, that's not what people, we've, as a society, we've moved past that now, <laughs> you know? We've moved past that. It's about showing your deeper inner emotional, mental, and spiritual vulnerability. Like, that's what people want to see. People don't want to see. They're giving me this image of in her film where she was choosing the type of mud to dance in. Oh, my God, look at me. I take, I go to the nth degree. This is the level of detail I look at things from. Like, no one cares. Like, society has elevated, and they've moved on beyond that now. In fact, society is sort of like on a pendulum swing. I spoke about this at the beginning of this year. It's... Like, society, in a way, are too harsh and too judgmental. But unfortunately, at this time, like, we are overcorrecting. And the balance has yet to come. But the balance isn't coming just yet for J-Lo for J -Lo and her situation. But J-Lo doesn't need the collective to bring about that balance. J-Lo could create that balance within herself. Like, you can create your own balance, my love, is the phrase they're saying. The bigger the fall from grace, the bigger the work, and the bigger the love that God has for you. And in this work, and in this work of making things right by people, by acknowledging them, by bringing truth to the darkness, by making all of those who have helped you along the way, who feel that they weren't seen, by making them seen, in this work you would find the freedom, and most importantly, the love that you deserve and crave. JLo has been searching for a love. It's a love that she deserves. She knows that she deserves it. She's been seeking it all her life. JLo needs to tap in, my love. You need to tap in. It's inside of you. And you need to tap in to what is inside of you for it to be revealed in the reality around you. Blessings. Guys, I'm going to end this reading here. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.